cool if we could beat that today. All right, I think I'm just, you know, gonna catch you guys later. Vanquish, hello, hello. I really wanna get this game started. I'm so excited. I've had some help with ideas from a couple different people. Um, and I have the best guests, you guys, some just really good natured people. Hello, Jim, that are here. And I'm so lucky to know each and every one of them. Nate Land Cloud Adventures is here. I'm, I'm going so fast, you guys. It's just bananas. Bananas, all right. Let me start the dating game. I am going to bring up our first bachelorette. Now, this bachelorette is actually a Canadian woman living in the United States of America. She's been on the channel before. She doesn't have a YouTube page, but she does have a different um, way to contact her that we'll share later. She's one of my favorite girls, and she's such a good sport to do this. I'm going to bring up Guylaine. Hey, you. Hello. How are you? I'm very good right now. Uh, as I told you, I'm stuck in the desert with my RV. I, I saw that picture on Facebook. You have the tire stuck in the sand, and you're still here to do this. Yeah, what this is it. why I'm a little bit crook. <laughs> but <laughs> tomorrow morning, first thing, there's a bunch of volunteers. They're going to come and get me out of here. Tonight oh, that's is too awesome. dark. That is so awesome. So to get the show rolling, Gilan, what are you looking for in a man? What are you hoping to find tonight in the show? Um, a friend, a partner, somebody equal, open-minded, who loves to travel and a nomad, please. <laughs> loves to travel. It is the travel dating game, so I think you might be in luck. Looking for nomad more than a stick and bricks, guys. That is for sure. Yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. anytime I have interviews, I ask the single people about dating and the nomadic life. So I just thought this would be a lot of fun tonight. All right. I'm going to bring up our bachelors for Guylaine. Everybody welcome them. Woo! Now pay attention because you guys will be giving her feedback on who you think she should have for her choice. Now, she does not know who is here. She does not know. So I have my contestants up, my bachelors, one, two, and three. I cannot hear you, girl. You can't hear me? Are you there? I'm here. I don't hear you right. Try again. Can everybody in the chat hear me? Yep. Yeah. Woohoo! Bring in the bachelors, and they will be revealed at the end of this round. But we wanted to keep a little okay. bit of mystery here. Okay. So we have three contestants that are up here, and they're all eligible nomadic men, Gilan. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. so we... fun. I will be providing a virtual date for you and the winner of this after <laughs> this stream. Okay. All right. I trust awesome. you, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying, pick a good one, Gilan. Oh, oh don't my... you worry. I'm good for that. If you were a product, what would you be and what would your slogan be? This is it. Sorry, I had a blank. Oh. Uh, oh, well, no. Uh... Like, if you, sorry, if you could bottle yourself. If you could literally, bachelor number three, if you could bottle yourself, what would your product be called and what would your slogan be? Oh, well, well why didn't you just say that? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I would, uh, I would call it holla pow pow. And, uh, well, the scent that's hotter than a jalapeno. Pa -pow. Ooh, Guilherme, that sounded like a pretty good answer. That is very good. So are we throwing this question to the next bachelor? Who are you picking next? Why not? Let's do that question to the next contestant. Let's go number two. So contestant number two, if you could bottle yourself, what would your product be called and what would your slogan be? Oh man, if I could bottle myself, I would be called seduction. 
<laughs> and I would be so good that you couldn't stop. That would be my slogan. <laughs> oh, Gilan, this is sounding pretty hot. Let's see what number one has for a response. Number one, same question. If you could bottle yourself, what would your product be called and what would your slogan be? <laughs> Mine would be called Lips and Kiss My Lips, baby. <gasps> I got Ooh. scared a minute. Ooh. Oh, you're going to need a fan, girl. I should have sent you one of mine. Yes, Shanna Craft, that is hot. Jeez, these guys are sounding pretty good. Yes, the next please. question is, how would you stop my family from joining us on our first date. My God, Guilen, that would be awkward. I'm so glad you shared these questions with me in advance. How would you stop my family from joining us on our first date? Wow, you must be pretty close with your family and your friends that you consider family, right? Yeah, my friends are my family. So let's ask that to number one. Number one, what is your answer? <laughs> now, why would I do that? You have some fine sisters. I want them to join us. <gasps> oh! Gilad, did you hear that? I didn't catch it up. What did he say? He was like, why would he stop them? You have some fine sisters. <laughs> He's sounding like a bit of a playboy, that one. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a playboy. Well, let's see what number two has for an answer. Number two... How would you stop her family from joining you on your first date? Well, instead of trying to get them to join, which I don't know what number three is doing with that, I would I would find out what they enjoy to do and maybe set up some sort of thing so they can win a contest and be busy doing that while we go on our date. Oh. That is a good idea. That is a very creative answer. And that way he doesn't get on their bad side. Yeah, he's making diversion. <laughs> ah, well, let's see what number three has for his response to that. Number three, how would you stop Gilan's family from joining you guys on your first date? Oh, well, that's easy. We'd go do a first date in a hot air balloon. <laughs> limited seating so they wouldn't be able to join us i love this <laughs> that is brilliant oh wouldn't that be an awesome first date yeah i need oh. to take notes here <laughs> <laughs> so all you other singles out there for valentine's day these are some well you can all tell which are the good ones and maybe not the so good answers well, we got one more question for each of these fantastic bachelors. And this one actually totally fits with your situation because you are stranded alone in the middle of the desert right now. <laughs> yeah. I sent you the picture on your channel. Yeah. So the question is, if we were on, if you and Guilain were on a date in the middle of the desert, what would you do for a fun date? If you actually had a date with her tonight and she couldn't meet you and now you have to go meet her in the desert, what would you guys be doing? Who should we ask first? Number two? Sure. Number two, what is your answer? Well, I think what we do, since you're stuck there and couldn't move, and obviously we don't want to leave your whole house there out in the middle of the desert, we could... uh just sit out underneath the stars and maybe uh, look at them like clouds and figure out our own constellations up there and kind of uh, see if we can draw each other in the stars. This is nice. This is very nice. What a charmer. What yeah. a charmer. And obviously a fellow nomad because he understands you not wanting to leave your home behind. No. No, most my I can walk to that place I'm heading right now, but I don't want to leave my little dog alone in the RV. So I'm going to stick with her. So tonight. that could work really well if it happened tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, who's the ask next? Next, number three or number one? Let's do number three. Number three. If you were in the middle of the desert with Guilen and you were on a date, what do you think would be fun? 
No, oh, well, well, that's easy. We would, we would go on a short little. We would, we would just rock hound our way up yonder to that mesquite tree right there in the shade. With our little picnic of fruit and cheese as I break out the ukulele and play this mysterious original music to soothe our ears. Oh, I have goosebumps. Oh, this is cute. This is very sweet. Wow. Oh, my goodness. These guys are amazing. They are. Well, we got one more answer left. Number one, if you were in the middle of the desert, what would you do for a fun date with Keelan? Now, the best part of the desert is the wildlife, especially <gasps> at night. So I would take my sofa from my RV, place it outside under the stars, you and I, because I am the sofa king. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and oh on the sofa, what we do, howling at the with the wolves, the coyotes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, these guys sound hot. Holy. What are you going to do to choose? What were some of the things that sounded appealing to you in their answers? Um, funny, being funny, definitely. That was number one. In, mm -hmm. But they were all nice, different, but nice answers. Mm -hmm. So it makes it difficult a little bit to make well let's let's see what the chat has for suggestions i mean this is your decision but let's just see what they suggest you guys type in one two or three which one do you think i love that yes let's my friends decide let's go people <laughs> so we already got a number one i know one two who is three uh all one day at a time Whew. You'd be a busy girl. We got one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, one, three, Th three because of the hot air balloon. One, three, three. Geez, there's a lot of answers for everybody. Three, two, one, one, three, three, three. It's too long know. to make the count. Huh? Can can we make number 123 win? <laughs> <laughs> you want them all, don't you? <laughs> we never have enough friends, you know? That's right. You were looking mostly for friendship. So, yes. yeah, that would be great. So, I, I have to press you. It is time for you to make a decision, my dear. Which bachelor is winning the date? Um... Who wants to look at the stars and singing? What, which, which number was it? That? Who was doing the singing under the stars? Which bachelor was that? Can you guys let us know or speak up? Well, I was talking about doing the ukulele. <laughs> that that oh, number three, we have a match made in heaven. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first show you guys what Gilan passed up on. Let's start with number two. Number two, can you please reveal yourself? Hey! hey. Yes. You guys were up? all good. Those were some fantastic answers. How's it going? Going good. Going good. That was a lot of fun. Where um, are you? I am up in Washington and covered in snow. Oh. Uh, Yep, now out in the middle of the desert, unfortunately, being warm. <laughs> but it was nice. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so Thank much you for, playing. for being yeah. a part of this. And you guys, Bob's Adventure does have a channel. I will be putting that link in the description of this video once it's done. So thank you so much. Yep. And subscribe. Yep. Okay, contestant number one, you didn't win, but we had a lot of votes for you. Can you reveal yourself, please? Ow! <laughs> You're missing out, baby. You're missing out. Come on. It was so many good answers. I got confused, and I should write notes, and I didn't. Sorry, but...
That's all right. You have more sisters. I like your sisters. <laughs> my sisters? I don't have any. Where, Where are, are you? Your friends and family. Your family are, or your friends are your family. So, uh, you know, I don't think I would have picked him after that comment. Of I don't what? Well, hear my dates. I'm here in I'm here in Southern California, next to the beach. I'm good. I'm good. Slab Slab City here. I'm in <laughs> Slabs. Oh, uh, see, you're only you're three miles, three hours away. I could be there in three hours. There's a rave tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. This is Ray from Dan Life Rocks. I'm pretty sure you guys are all very aware. He will be dropping, we will be putting his link again in the description. Ray, thank you so much for being a part of this. You are the first person thank to help with it. My pleasure. My pleasure. That's awesome. Thank You're you. good. We'll all see right. you later. Bye. Bye. All right, you guys, I'm nervous for you, Gilan. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? We're down to the winner. Let's bring him on. Let's do it. All right. Number three, please reveal yourself. You are the winner of the virtual date with Gilan. Don't be shy. He took off. <laughs> Don't be shy, number three. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. No, Nomadic Adventures. Thank you so much, Marshall, for being a part of this. What a great guy you are coming to my rescue today. Hey, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. Uh, that Wayne, was. Nice to meet you. So, Gilan, what do you think you guys are going to do for a virtual date later? Is it coffee? Is it dinner? Is it drinks? No, it's going to be to trade stickers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look, you guys have another interest in common. Fantastic. <laughs> nice. I get well, you one from Slab City. <laughs> I will be putting both your information in the description below so you can contact each other and do that sticker exchange. That's so awesome. <laughs> this Marshall, is so while cool. Marshall, while you're up here, you are fairly new to the community. Do you want to give a quick explanation of your channel to everyone? please um well i'm kind of just started to do this as something to do during the pandemic because i'm a filmmaker in kentucky and the uh, film scene has dried up here so i was like hmm, what can i do and start watching youtube and got inspired by the nomadic movement which is a larger channel but they just really inspire me just their journey and it got me thinking, you know, how can i get in on this traveling and being able to like see places and so uh, I already had a minivan, so I decided to, to to convert it to a camper, and that's kind of what I'm doing. And it's just uh, like you said, I'm a new channel; it's a new journey. So, but basically, I'll be traveling the U.S., maybe into Canada, hopefully one day. Awesome. Nice. Oh wow, you guys! Thank you so much, Ingilan. You're still doing road beats. Absolutely. Awesome. And I was actually selling today across, almost across the street from Salvation Mountain in Slav City. And we had a great day. And I came back here to meet my friends at the rave. And on my way, I sunk my rig to the belly, like a half mile to the rave. Oh, and you guys, she really did. Let me see if I can pull up this picture. Oh. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see in the dark over there. There's lights. You see, there's we a rainbow. 81 people. We totally broke my record. Oh, <laughs> well, be safe. I hope you get that unstuck. Good job uh, on breaking your record, Paula. Thank you for thank having you. me. This has been awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, have fun on the road because it is fun. You're going to like it. I'll have to find that picture later. Thank you both so very much for this. I will talk to you both later. Have a fantastic evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh, you guys. What did you think of that? Was it fun? Was it fun? I had a blast. I had an absolute blast. In the scheduling of today, there was some little ups and downs and bumps in the road, and we do have another round. But today I lost 
two people that had committed to doing this because of different very relevant issues and that's just how it goes and then i lost my female guest for this round so yeah vans of the adventure that is the twist to tonight's game i am a surprise bachelorette and that is so not how i plan to do today at all at all so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have the next two bachelors one of them i'm still waiting to come up i think service is affecting they're popping in and out but i only have two people and i am going to have the chat actually make the decision on who is the winner i can't make the decision because i know who everybody is so we're going to keep their identities hidden and you guys will absolutely decide for me i trust you guys i have good faith in you guys and everybody that's volunteered to do this is just amazing but if i could possibly have one more channel if there is one more channel here that wants to join in on this virtual date um, i'm going to pop a link you have to be a channel that i know and you have to be a single male <laughs> So if you want to be one of the participants, you can pop in right now, hide your identity to everyone but me. And, uh, oh, my phone is going bananas. And just come on up and we're going to do it. Let's see if we can get some people that can really wing it. And I'm still waiting for my, I have my contestant number two, my contestant number one. I'm just waiting for you to come back. You may have to catch that link. And I will tell you, one of these bachelors actually saw me this morning with no makeup on. Does that sound bad? Does that make me sound bad? He saw me this morning with no makeup on. Very few men can ever say that. <laughs> And that was simply because we were working out how to get onto a live stream and what it's like um, so that he could learn a little bit about that. Yes, exactly. Adventures in Xanadu. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> you guys are so funny. So funny. I just adore you guys. And you know what? It was super awesome of Marshall with Mellow Nomadic to jump into this right away like last minute today come to my rescue and help fill one of the the bachelor spots um what is this paula says you saw him pop up and down i don't know exactly what i said but let's not even i'm not even addressing that oh i need to make sure that i ask some good questions you know what i I do have some good questions and I'm not going to be as easy on these guys as Guylaine was to her round. Now that I have to be the one doing this, these guys are really going to have to step up their game. Like really, really, really. We are sitting at 75 people. No matter, Kippy, I'll know who they are. Unless, um, they have to reveal themselves to me before I'll let them play the game, but I'm not the one picking the audience will not know who is who who is um who's the bachelors but i will so that's why the audience that doesn't know who gets to pick it was it easier to get more ladies and one guy no isn't that funny you guys i had an easier time finding men joking around having a good time um they just such good natured fun, right? And so, yeah, I I had a way easier time finding the guys. Oh, Nomadic Hippie Rick, thank you so much for that an apology payment. <laughs> hey, that'll be the cheapest date you ever went on. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, that's even cutting in and out for me. How weird is that? Maybe the cold brought down some lines. And I have my other contestant. So I see you. You can hide yourself. And I'm going to bring you gentlemen up. And we are going to play this game. So contestant number one, if you just want to edit your avatar photo. excellent all right and thank you so much again rick for that that was fantastic you're such a great guy 
We'll see you fit for expedition. You're not hanging out for this one where you get to decide who is my virtual date. Oh man, you are crazy. Just kidding. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, I am so nervous now. It is so different when you're planning this for somebody else to do. And my mom is watching. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to bring up the three contestants. Test number one is back up. All right, gentlemen, I hope you are ready. I have, I'm going to hit you hard with these questions. Now, this is any better? Yeah, that's way better. I'm needing some honest answers from you guys. So the first question is for contestant number one. What is your idea of an ideal first date? Well, I hope you can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Well, in my opinion, a good first date would be a nice hike. Leisurely hike in the forest with a lunch pack and uh, some drinks in my backpack. Find a Nice quiet spot on a hillside with over a lake with a beautiful view. We could enjoy a lunch and talking and getting to know each other. Or always have to have a backup. She takes me to her place. I bet you know where this is going. Oh, aren't you a little bit risky, contestant number one? You sounded so sweet and innocent originally. And she huh. can cook me a fabulous dinner of filet mignon and Alaskan king crab legs. You know what they say, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Or a trip to I Cabello's guess, you know, I didn't think about this. This is what's an ideal date for you, not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you would like to have a home-cooked meal, hang out in nature. Okay. Everybody making their notes? Contestant number two, what is your ideal first date? Well, hello. Good evening, Paula. You look beautiful tonight. Um, my ideal first date would be probably pick you up and then we're going to go for a drive, take a look at the scenery, the, wherever the location is that we happen to be, and stumble upon some nice restaurant that we can both uh, enjoy maybe some barbecue ribs or something like that we could check out a steakhouse maybe or do some sushi maybe find a park uh, we could even do a picnic and uh, who knows maybe a movie go lay under the stars and relax and just talk about our childhood and uh, what really makes us tick as human beings, what our passions are, what our goals are, our dreams, talk about our kids, and maybe go horseback riding, oh, the list goes on. That sounds like a really long first date, very much fly by the path. Well, we would have hundreds and hundreds of first dates, that's the thing. Well, thank you so much for that, contestant number two. So tons and tons of first dates. That's interesting. Contestant number three, what is your ideal first date? Well, baby, this would be the ultimate first date. We'll go out and look at the stars and head back to your amulet and rock those wheels. Oh my God, this is, that's almost obscene. Oh, that is so forward. Crazy. Contestant number one, we're getting a little bit of feedback. You have your YouTube playing in the background. If you can shut that off, that would help. Wow. Bob's advantage says, yeah, number three, he knows the deal. You guys, you guys, what is with you? Jeez, that's, that is quite a variety of dates. All right. Okay. Okay. 
you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this on the path of the questioning that number how number three answered it. Then these guys want to be so brazen. Why can't I? This is the uh, I don't even know. Do you call it the 2000s, the 2020s? What do we even call it now? <laughs> All right, this is my next question. This is for contestant number two. What does it take to get your motor running? Well, I'll be honest with you. What it really takes to get my motor running. Can you hear me okay, first of all? You're echoing a lot. It sounds like you're in a tin box. I'm having a really hard time. Someone asked if you were calling from the penitentiary. I'm having a hard time hearing you as well. Oh, that's difficult to hear you, but what really gets my motor running is animals and seeing puppies and seeing how a person can treat something that's inferior to them. When uh, I pay attention to things like how a person takes, uh, how, the, how a person speaks to maybe somebody that's serving us at a restaurant or something like that, things like that, you know, uh, their faith, their religion, the way they treat other people that are insignificant to them, those are things that really get me going. People that uh, make you a priority instead of an option, that's, uh, that's really going to get me revved up. Wow. Wow. That is really good. Thank you so much for that number two. And that is so not what I was expecting after hearing the last answer for number three. Contestant number one, what does it take to get your motor running? Well, that depends on the weather. Right now, okay. it's about negative 2 Fahrenheit, and uh, I think that's about 18, ne negative 18 Celsius. So I may need a pair of jumper cables to get my own running. Actually, oh, sitting together by a legit. warm... Actually, sitting together by a warm fireplace with a bottle of Patron tequila. That might be helpful. I've heard rumors about tequila makes your clothes fall off, and that would probably get my motor running. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Oh, you guys, it's getting warm in here. Number three, same question. What does it take to get your motor running? Well, baby... It would be pretty simple. I'd be looking into your beautiful eyes, sitting on that bare skin rock in front of that fireplace with that wine, and who knows what would happen from there. Holy crap! <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. I really didn't plan to be up here for this. <laughs> Bernay says it's very white. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Adventure and Xanadu says, remember, kids, jumper cables and tequila don't mix. <laughs> oh, you're turning Rick Nomadic Hippie on with your answers, guys. Whew. Okay, I hope you guys are all... Paying attention, we got only one more question for these guys. And I'm not going to make it easy on them. I'm going to ask them a tougher question. This one's going to take a little bit of thought. Okay. What is the hottest part of your rig that describes you the most? And thank you, V, for that question. What is the hottest part of your rig that describes you the most? Number three, I'm asking you first. Well, Paula, the hottest part of my rig is, well, I can't actually say it online, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 I am embarrassed for him. Jeez, how could someone make me blush this much on a stream? Okay. Question goes out to number one. What is the hottest part of your rig and describes you the most? Well, the hottest part of my rig, I, my first thought would be good, my cooktop. It has three burners and they're all gas and they get pretty damn hot. 
three burners are nice. You never know when one burner will screw up. And I like to have a backup and a backup for the backup. A Maybe plan it's the or... Boy Scout in me that has me wanting to be prepared all the time. A friend, however, so I thought a friend, was here and read these questions. And she said the most <laughs> that I'm most like the black water tank. I said, what? She said, you're always available and you're usually full of shit. I told her about <laughs> Paula's having the idea tonight because I really need some new friends. <laughs> you do need some more new friends. If they're calling you the black tank, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That I actually feel really bad for you, contestant number one. All right, this question is going to the last one. Number two, what is the hottest part of your rig that describes you guys? Well, the hottest part of my rig would have to be my power system. Up on the hood, up on the roof, I got a couple solar panels, and the sun does wonders for them. There's some wires that come down from the solar panels, and they go into a charge controller. From the charge controller, I got a couple more wires heading into a battery bank, and that battery bank uh, got more wires again. It uh, heads on into the power inverter, and that power inverter can run anything that you wish to run. You want to run your hair dryer, your pressure cooker, whatever you want to run, uh, I got the power for it. I'm uh, pretty simple. And uh, if the vans are rocking, they can just keep on a knocking because the van's going to not stop the rocking. <laughs> they can keep knocking. It's a really reliable power system you have, number two. <laughs> it depends on what you want to power. Just I take a lot of energy. Yeah, and that relates to me because I'm a complex creature, but yet still very simple. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for your answering of those questions. Lance with Boondogging and Boomer says, these guys all sound too old for Paula. Because <laughs> I'm such a young pup, right? Oh, but my auntie's saying, sorry, Paula, none of these guys are for you. Well, we do need to pick one. Who are you guys... Who are you guys choosing for me and why? Let me read your comments. Okay. So Brene says, number two, these guys are too much. Nomadic Grab Pack says, Polly, get the extension cord for the inverter. You're headed to the bedroom with contestant number two. <laughs> Good. I love the way you worded that, Troy. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. I got to have to write these down. So that was... What was that? Two number twos. Wait, I'm going to make categories here. Everybody out there watching already knows that number two is one. Oh, number two is a little overconfident, folks. Let me just Ooh. see. I'm going to make <laughs> It's just number two knows what's under the hood. <laughs> okay. You need to know how to so use number says, two. What did you say, number three? Number two just needs to know how to use it. Oh my gosh, you guys are creeping me right the hell out. Okay, I'm trying to keep down. V's got number two. Lisa says number three. Where are V's staying is number two. And you guys, please only put your number once. A number two, number two, one or two so you don't end up dead. Garage Misadventure says. Ah, Doug, you're hilarious. <laughs> Well, I can't count that because that's that didn't give me a solid answer. Um, Auntie says number one. Traveling Nate Dog says one. Shebna says two. Welcome, Wendy Bloom. She says number one because he seems the most sensitive. Boondocking with Boomer says number one because the other two sound like losers. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Uh, Land Cloud Adventure says number two because I need reliable power. That's right. I did drain my batteries and needed a boost. <laughs> James is voting for number three. James, you're terrible. 
Ray says number one from the first game. He's still available. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. It's not that bad. Number two is a gentleman. That's a fact. <laughs> Vanquish says number two. V says, uh, unless number one has hair blower service. <laughs> <laughs> Can I plug in my hair dryer at your place, number one? Oh, definitely. I have a 1500 watt inverter. <laughs> Kathleen says number three sounds sleazy. One is needy and two is too loud. But burning up the roads and Nomadic Hippie are saying two. Mayhem RV is saying number one. Solex says number one. Misadventures, gra oh, Garage Misadventures says probably two. One sounds like too much work. That's right. Number one wanted, the, his ideal date was me cooking filet mignon. Are you kidding me? That'd be one disappointed person, I tell ya. Craft dinner, maybe. Not Ventures and Xanadu says number one. Wayne says one. Oh my goodness, we must be getting close to the end here, and each person's only- Number one. two is fantastic. Uh, Georgie says, are being <laughs> number two. Ryan says number two. People are asking my brother to pick one. Oh, no, no, that's number two will be screaming in your ear all night. Yeah, that is an interesting point. Yeah. Troy says, Paula, we don't want you dating a bum. Number two has solar. He might save some, or me, he might have some money. <laughs> Vanquish says number two. Oh, I'll take a couple more. So far, you guys, number two is definitely in the lead here. Van City Ventures says one. Time for Exploring says two. Chasing America says one. I'm going to get caught up really quick here. Um, Shannon Craft says four. Or being a G, you already voted. Bob says number three if you want one good night. Number one if you want to help him out. Number two if you like the listing of options. Hmm. Zena says number one. Oh, man. My brother's not picking any of them. Of course, my brother never would. He's very particular for me. Oh, now I got some people saying, ask mom. Megan says number two. He has a really big fan. <laughs> oh, Terry, Stanisha, thanks so much for popping in. Oh, let me go back. Faye says not three. Faye Browning says number two. All right, Faye. Mike wants to know, what does my mom say? Gee, I don't know. Should I give her a call? Okay, I'm going to quickly get these. You guys stop putting your numbers in now. I'm going to catch up on the numbers, and I think I'm going to give my mom a call. Do you guys, Let me know. Put mom if you think I should call my mom and ask for her advice. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't pick. I can't call my mom. Number two, I think you should call your mom. I really do because that's, that's – she's a part of your life. That's going to be a part of mine. Definitely call her. You're planning on this date going really well. <laughs> no, I, I told you it's a hundred first dates. It's a first date every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Adventures in Xanadu says number one has tequila. That's it. <laughs> really great. Number three's got the Serrano. <laughs> More power with number one. Well, George, you can't keep giving me answers. Amy says number two. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Okay, audience. The Madden Grab Pack says, How sad none of them offered you moose milk. <laughs> That's because number two isn't interested in giving up any moose milk for quite a while. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> Paula, I'll milk. get you a moose milk farm. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I'll even moose. Okay, everyone's like, Wayne's like, come on, call it, call it. Okay, you guys. Okay, number one. 
I'll let you guys know third, third or we'll do third place, second place, and then third place, first place. So number three, you are definitely in last place. Hallelujah. I knew that I could trust these people. I knew I could trust everyone in the chat. Number three, could you reveal yourself, please? Baby, you haven't even tried me. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. Number two here, um, I think number three did a good job. He, everybody give him a round of applause. You did a great job, buddy, number three. And number three, you guys, popped in here last minute. I thought for sure you were going to know the voice, but man, did he change his voice. Can you guys tell who it is from the flashes of the picture there? Looks like Badge. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Badge. Uh, number three, he did a good job. And the reveal so is... Daryl from Van City Adventure. And yes, Daryl is married, you guys. He just jumped on last minute so that I had a third contestant. Um, just to keep this more interesting. You're muted, buddy. He's muted. He did a good job. I had to make myself not picked, so you had to come off creepy. Uh, yeah, and you are <laughs> really good at that. Oh. I got a kick out of him. He was good. That was fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Daryl. Your channel chat will be dropped in the description. <laughs> Thank you so much for for to, for participating. And you Rock honestly reminded me why I never date. <laughs> <laughs> I've That's why it took me so long. Like <laughs> Number two is going to be on Daryl's channel on the 26th. Number two, wait till we reveal you. Damn you, <laughs> We got some stuff to work on, buddy. Really? <laughs> Thank you, girls. Oh, yeah. By the way, you guys, all of the guys that are contestants, I am the only one that knows who everybody is. None of them know who each other are until we had the reveal. So second place was number one. Number one, very kindly volunteered to do this to help me. Number one is also the one that got to see me this morning with no makeup on. Number one, do you want to reveal yourself? Paula, you looked lovely with no makeup on this morning. Ah, thank you so much, Jeff. This, you guys, is Mayhem RV. So for everybody that hasn't known who that little shit disturber is, this is him. Good job, number one. You did good. So what did you think of this experience? Interesting, but that number two guy scares the hell out of me. <laughs> Yeah, two and three. I don't know. I'm pretty nervous. But I do want everybody to know Mayhem RV is not a creator, but he is just an amazing person who I'm hopefully going to get. To. Hopefully you'll come back Monday night. Monday night, I want to bring up all non-creators. We are nothing without you guys, and I want to thank you all. And, like, this is a prime example, buddy, coming and helping me put on this show. You're amazing. You're a rock star. Well, thanks for having me, Paul. It was fun. Not a problem. And congratulations I was... to number two, but I think you should better take an escort. <laughs> you know what? I think I probably will need an escort. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous. Do you guys have any guesses as to who number two is? This is the one who had no idea he was going to win a virtual date with me because I wasn't supposed to be one of the contestants. But oh, and the other contestant was going to be Van Life and Gina. And if you guys know her and her channel, she was having so many problems because of the weather today. She couldn't even do her own show. So by all means, at some point, take a look at one of her videos. Just show her some love. She was very supportive. Helped me do some of the planning of this game as well as Call Me V. I wouldn't have been able to do this without those ladies as well. All right. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Who could this possibly be? Number two, would you reveal yourself? Yes, ma'am. Is everybody out there ready? I don't know. Do you think? Is that a cowbell? Oh 
my goodness, look at my hands. I got these gloves on. Mm. Well, hello everybody. I got my headlamp on because I didn't know if it might get dark on the date. <laughs> I the only one that came prepared. Those guys ain't ready to go in the dark. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're going to do some yoga. How's everybody doing out there tonight? Oh, I think one person guessed him. Oh, Mayhem RV is like, is it the oh. You could probably talk a smidge quieter for the echo. Oh, well, maybe I put your mic up too high. I was playing with the microphones earlier. Oh, oh Take it off. Take it all off. Yeah, let's, let's, no, come on, let's take it all off. Yeah, sorry. We were drinking before this. <laughs> Look at you turning all red. Oh my yeah. God. So that was a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for having me. Good to see everybody out there. Thank you so much for having me on. At first, I was a little shy to come do this, but it was a lot of fun. Those, the, everybody did so well. Those guys did a good job. Everybody was so amazing. And if you guys don't know, this is Skeet, Jiu-Jitsu 2000. So the winner of the day with me actually has the biggest channel. <laughs> and a <the> solar system. <laughs> the solar system did impress me. I'm not going to lie. And you step by step every part of it and i'm like i know you know what you're talking about because i put my solar system together <laughs> that's because I, my dream is to like build a tiny house i want to build a tiny house and i have all the components but i just haven't built it yet i got some land out there and i i want to build a tiny house but one day i will probably <laughs> so wendy bloom would like to know where are you from skeet I am from Winslow, Arizona, so from the Eagles, that song, Take It Easy, that's the hometown where I live in, Winslow, Arizona, so we have a little statue uh, for standing on the corner, we have a festival every year, and it's, it's awesome, it's a good place. Now I can't hear you. <laughs> well, now I really turned it down. <laughs> Just smile and be cute. We can't hear you. <laughs> Ryan says, congrats, Skeet. And Lance wants to know, what did I look like without makeup on? That's why we're going to go. not telling you. That's why we're going to go swimming on our first date. <laughs> you can get waterproof makeup, buddy. Let me tell you. I will get waterproof makeup. Don't you even worry about that. Or I'll put goggles on. Oh, my God. What's worse? No makeup or wearing giant goggles. Or no, those little ones. I'll put these little ones that squish against my eyeballs so I can keep my makeup on. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, just whisper. For some reason, your speakers are picking it up in a major way. <laughs> Jim says, yeah, just smile and be cute. <laughs> Oh, ma'am, RV says I looked hot. Oh, you're such a fibber. What, what a great guy. <laughs> Beer goggles. Yes, Ron Daryl. Hey, how's it going? I'm glad you're here. Beer goggles. That'll work. That'll keep my makeup protected. Tipsy Gypsy, I think I did pretty dang good. And I didn't pick. They were all amazing people. I mean, I could only pick two out of the three <laughs> because one's married. <laughs> Really tried to avoid that today. <laughs> oh, Karen says you can visit most of the world's great art galleries virtually. I'm not an art gallery person, are you? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I like I like kayaking and hiking and and uh, nature stuff, waterfalls. I like traveling, go to Hawaii, go to other countries. I've been to quite a few places in my life at a young age, been uh -huh. all, over, all over the world, rather. Mm -hmm. Yes. V, thank you so much for helping. V came up with the toughest questions for everybody in both those rounds. She sent me an email with some suggestions and I was like, dang, these are good. I'm putting them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my gosh, it was so awesome. Oh, look at this virtual bungee jumping from a balloon. That would be fun. That would How be would fun. you do that virtually? I don't know. There, well, there. We're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> oh, and there's your mom. There's your mom. Oh, there's your mom right there. Yes. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> I love you, mom. Sorry you had to see the naughty side of me. Oh, I think you did pretty good. I think you did pretty good. I, at least you were like number three. Number three scared the bejeepers out of me. I'm not even going to lie. I loved it. That was hilarious. And dad oh. here. Big but like he room. said, he had to be one of those options that didn't get picked because he was just filling in the space, right? I love it. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I think Valentine's Day needs to focus on all kinds of love that are there and not just romantic love because there is a lot of love in this world that we can share with one another, just like you guys all shared with us tonight by being here and, and being a part of the fun. That was fun. Yeah. And thank you, guys. I will talk to you later. Thank you.